Alright, what I'd like to guys, what I'd like to show you is how to solve solve an equation when you have uh, variables on both sides and you also have to go ahead and simplify. So when given this problem, negative 2x times the difference of 4 minus 3x plus 3x equals 27 plus 2x. So I have a list of steps on how I want to do how I want to do these problems. I told you guys to write these on a note card so that you could have them next to you each time you're doing the problem. So the first thing to do is going to be simplify. So that's what we're going to be is what I mean by simplify, I mean use your order of operations. And one of the first things I notice here is I have multiplication and multiplication with uh, multiplication outside parentheses, so therefore it's going to indicate I'm going to have to use my distributive property. There's no other multiplication, division, or parentheses um, or exponents that I can use in my order of operations. So I'm going to have to go ahead and multiply my negative 2 times 4, my negative 2 times the negative 3x. So I do that, I get a negative 8, 8. plus 6x plus 3x equals 27 plus 2x. So therefore now I've simplified it to all their adding and subtracting. All right? And so now the next thing I have to go and do is says um, combine like terms. Remember, combine like terms is you're going to combine all your x's and combine all your numbers on the same side. So I can't combine my negative 8 to anything. There's no other numbers over here. Uh, however, I do have my coefficients of my, of my x terms. I can combine those. So I have negative 8 plus 9x equals 27 plus 2x because I can't combine everything here. 27 and 2x, they cannot be combined. Do not write 29 or 29x. You cannot combine your x's because you don't know the value of x. Then, over here, now the third step I have is get the variable on the same side. Yeah, which question? Like, if you can't combine the 27 with the 2 because of the x, how can we combine 6x plus 3x? Because what this is saying is, this is saying I have 6x's and I have 3x's. So I can combine them to have 9x's. But here you just have the number 27, and you oh, don't. So okay. you just can't. You don't know what x. So you can't say 27 plus two of something you don't know. You know, but you can combine uh, your numbers with numbers. Uh, the numbers that you do not. Know. So now the next thing that we need to go and do is go ahead and determine. We need to go ahead and determine put our, our variable on the same side. So we need to pick what side it's going to to go on. And I'll tell you from my experience, the easiest that I've found out is to Put your variable on the side where you're not going to get a negative number. So I usually like to subtract my smaller number, so therefore I'm not dealing with negative numbers, because that's where a lot of students make mistakes. So I'm going to decide to keep my 9x here, and I'm going to want to get rid of my 2x. Since this is a positive 2x on the right side, to get rid of it, I need to subtract 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x. That's going to cancel that out to 0. And whatever I do on one side, I have to go ahead and do on the other side. Therefore, now I obtain negative 8 plus 7x equals 27. Do you guys need to leave? Or oh. just put your feet under your desk. You should be sitting for it. So now, what I've come up to is a two-step equation. So now, guys, we should have done so many two-step equations, you should already make know, all right, well, I already know exactly what to do here. Okay, you undo addition and subtraction by using the inverse operations, and then you're going to undo multiplication and division by using the inverse operations. So of course, the first thing I notice is my variable is being subtracted by 8 because that's a negative 8. So my variable is being subtracted by 8. So to undo that, I'm going to add 8. I do that to both sides. Therefore, I'm left with 7x equals 35. Now I need to undo multiplication. So to undo multiple, my variable being multiplied by 7, I need to divide by 7. So therefore, x equals x equals 5. Well, so. That is how you solve when you have a variable on both sides. They are difficult. They're not very difficult problems, ladies and gentlemen, but they're long problems. As long as you just follow the steps that I give you and just work on it step by step, then you will be able. To, then you will, um, should be able to solve problems. All right. That was the last